Active Sky 2016 is the next step in Hi Fi Tech's weather simulating programs that takes Metar data directly from the weather stations and airports and inserts it into FSX or Prepare 3D. As well as a weather system, it also features a built in flight planner and briefing page to give the user an overview of the flights they will be taking, from information about the predicted weather en route to the locations of each VOR point and the altitude of the aircraft. Installation of the software is simple. You are provided with an unlock key from FS Pilot Shop and a zip file which only contains the installer. The software itself does not go directly into the FSX folder, but instead into your program files. It then asks you to install a second item, AS Connect 2016. Install that as it's Active Sky's own system, similar to SimConnect, which allows the software to talk to the simulator. Within the program files, HiFi, AC2016 documentation folder, you are given two copies of the user guide and two copies of the API, both in Word document and PDF format. The API contains some code within the program and how it works, whilst the user guide goes into depth about how each feature within the simulator and software works. When you load the program, you are taken to a home page. This includes news and updates from the developer, a list of storms and hurricanes, and a selection of interesting metadatas from around the world. The second tab, WX Control, allows the user to select a different weather type out of real world weather, historical weather going back two years, or even creates their own custom weather where the user can input their own metadata and apply it to a station. The third tab shows an interactive world map, showing the user cloud locations and other pieces of information which can be toggled on and off. The fourth tab allows the user to input an ICAO code to which it feeds back the data from the local station and airport regarding clouds, visibility, wind speeds, temperature and even its elevation. The fifth tab is a flight planner where the user can input their own flight information and waypoints. Flight plans can however be loaded from directly within the FSX flight planner. This leads on to the sixth tab, which is the flight briefing page, which shows the user their flight path, waypoints, time between each VOR, speed of the aircraft and more. The seventh tab is the scenario editor, which allows the user to fly in different events from the real world which were direct causes from the weather. From the microbus which brought down Delta Airlines flights 191 to the John F. Kennedy Jr. crash due to spatial disorientation. Finally, there is also a search option which allows the user to search for different stations based on meta data tags. These include precipitation, visibility, wind speeds, cloud ceiling and thunderstorms. Within the simulator, this software looks amazing. The clouds may not move, which is something other softwares have been able to do in the past, such as open clouds, which is done for a fast refresh rate, but they still look great and flying through them is something special too. When entering a cloud and looking in the virtual cockpit, Active Sky triggers a motion effect, which is done by putting smoke particles in front of the aircraft. There is also a wing fade effect, where when looking through a passenger window, the wings disappear through the clouds. This really brings the clouds in FSX to life as before they would disappear when the aircraft goes near it due to them not being volumetric. Another feature that I also like is the X-Gage panel which puts the map data into the aircraft itself, including each of the options that can be toggled and the map designs. Initially, the panel is opened by pressing Shift N or via the toolbar menu. When installing the gauge, however, you can choose for it not to be on installed into certain aircraft in order to keep the realism high. There is also a small GUI built within the default FSX system which allows you to view your present weather conditions and the conditions from your departure and destination airport which I also feel is a nice feature. One thing that Active Sky 2016 loses however, which Active Sky Next had, is the sound effects from turbulence and wind hitting the canopy. It's something I feel that should be reintegrated to the software however in a future update. Editing my own custom weather within the program was also slightly tricky at first, and it did take me a few tries to get working. In order to create your own weather, you have to go to the map, right click, select add new custom weather here, then either input your own metadata, or go through the options. 
You then go back to the WX control page and select the weather from a now populated list. One thing that all of the Active Sky systems excel at is the customization of the software. Within it, there are over 50 options and sliders to change to suit the user. In my case, I've done research into each step and picked the weather that matches as close to real life as possible. But if you run older hardware, you can change these settings to suit your needs. If you want my settings, however, I have left a download link in the description. You can also change the clouds within the software to anything you want. Hi-Fi Tech have their own cloud art which you can buy separately, but if you do not like that option, then you are free to download your own freeware or payware clouds. In my case and most other people, use Rex Soft Clouds as adding the volumetric feel to this weather system really adds to the effects of this software. As a whole, I am really impressed with the outcome of Active Sky 2016. It's built upon the very successful Active Sky Next and succeeds in almost every way possible. The sky looks great and with no noticeable drop in FPS, this is also nice. By using real world metadata, the package comes extremely close to matching the real world sky conditions, definitely making it a must buy. At $49.99, or £40 however, the price does fall on the upper end of the price scale. In terms of features and what you get added however, the price is definitely worth it. If you are the owner of the previous software, Active Sky Next, or even Active Sky 2012, however, do consider keeping your current package as really the new pack only adds a few new customization options and the scenario list mean that you'll not notice much of a difference. If this will be your first Active Sky pack, however, then you will surely be impressed by the easy to navigate and heavily customizationable software.